<sighs> My name is Ryan Rains. Gonna try and not get super emotional. I tried to overthink this a lot, and actually, I should probably think about the audio. <sighs> um, My husband has asked me to be a part of his message for a nonprofit that he is starting with all of his heart and soul. And every day is building more and more on, on that true purpose and trying to take it in. Um, I do plan on sharing more. I will. There's so much to share, um, but I realize how important I am um, in his story um, because of the message it is to other men and women, married couples, um, or maybe even just this the, the words of a feminine have a way of reaching other people that maybe just receive that message better from the feminine version than the masculine. And Gabe um, has gone through some amazing transformations over the last three years, and I've seen him struggle a tremendous amount. And I am... I believe a, a pretty intense empath. I feel everyone. And um, I was drawn to Gabe immediately. Um, his eyes had something really special. And uh, despite what I, what pain I could sense, there was so much beauty inside of there. And it was so attractive. I, there was just, I've, I don't know. I mean, people always tell me that, you know, Ryan, you just look at be it with the weirdest people, or you're just, we don't see you matching with half the people. And I, I don't know, I match energy. And if anyone's met Gabe, Gabe has some fucking energy, man. Oh my God. And before, it was so intense, it was overwhelming, and whenever he was in a really bad place, it made it hard for me. I mean, something my aunt always told, or once told me, it, it really rung true. When you struggle, I struggle. I do believe that when you have a very deep love for someone, that your, your souls are intertwined you do have a soul connection a vibration or an understanding and when one is down you're both down <laughs> and then you know as male and females we carry our own responsibilities to our families and our home and when it's struggling it struggles and you know it domino effects on down everywhere then you feel like your kids aren't doing good and because they sense it or you know everyone the family worries about you in little ways and you, they don't even have to say it you just know it um but i realized i struggling isn't fun <laughs> for anybody but it is so much part of our process, and we have to learn to trust that. And no matter how hard it gets, <laughs> and it'll get really freaking hard, <laughs> it'll test you to, you know, no end. You do, you just. Some people want to go inward and blame themselves. What did I do wrong? Why can't I find someone that doesn't struggle? Why can't I not struggle? Why can't this be easier? Why does everything have to feel so hard? It doesn't. And 
all I can say is you just have to put in work and um, you keep going inside yourself more and more and whatever makes you stronger is a couple Gabe and I I wouldn't say we necessarily prayed together um, we had a Christian based uh, book uh, I forgot the name of it the love dare and I always talk about daily bread because it's important to you know um, like I don't know I've been to church I don't know how many times in the last couple of years but I spend um, almost all day, every day, very connected to my spirit. Um, it's very important to me. It's part of my sanity. It's part of my purpose, I believe. And um, communication is important. Raw honesty is hard, but important. And there's just so much work. Plant medicines really help a lot of things. Um, well, they just help you move inward. Um, and this has happened over, you know, a course of three years, actually, you know, um, Gabe going through rehab. Wow, that was just a whole nother chapter. There's just been so many chapters and versions of him and me in these times. And it's crazy you know, like to unpeel every layer and of the onion. Um, yeah. I just start losing direction. <laughs> I don't know where to begin in talking about how much Gabe has changed. Um, I know you guys can see it affect me. I have so many feelings and thoughts and realizations over the last few weeks. Um, but... You hang in there and communicate, love each other and communicate from a place of love and understanding and communicate, love yourself, work on yourself, um, stop with limiting beliefs and give your body nourishment Stop doing things that slow you down and uh, face all those traumas, all those things that make you want to grab stuff to cope with or get through, you know. Find a way to stop doing those to where you actually do have that, you know, uh, that moment when you step into Oz and you realize this is the most beautiful place here and now. Like, hello, <laughs> you're wasting time. But spend all the love and energy and what's important. And um, I look forward to sharing more about uh, my experiences with our family and dealing with PTSD, depression, um, geez, ADD, and managing businesses, kids, and life but managing to bring it into a space that's really beautiful and that you want to share with the world yeah <laughs> one love